What's going on, church family? Welcome back to Everyday Church Life. I pray y'all are having a blessed day. So today we're going to be talking about the truth about spiritual warfare. What's going on, y'all? Before we get into the video, I just want to thank everyone who has been supporting me. Um, recently experienced loss in the family, so it's been kind of tough for me and my family. And, you know, I just want to thank y'all for the support, man. It truly means a lot. And I love y'all for real, yo. From the bottom of my heart, I love y'all. And thank you. Just thank you. Thank you for all watching the videos and subscribing to the YouTube channel. It's a blessing. And we're going to just keep pressing forward, having faith, and trusting God. Keep trusting God. That's what we're going to keep doing. So thank y'all for the support. Let's get into the video. Let's say you've been struggling with something and it's been going on for a while, but finally you overcome that fight with the help of Lord Jesus. Then one day out of the blue, those urges come back stronger. And you're trying to figure out why, because you know for a fact you have overcome this battle. See, the reason why it's called spiritual warfare is because although you've overcome the flesh, there's still enemies in the spiritual realm that's transpiring against your life. See, the enemy wants to make you feel like there's still a battle going on, although you already have the victory through Lord Jesus Christ. You already won the fight, but yet there's still urges to go back to certain sins that you have overcome with Lord Jesus. That's why it's called spiritual warfare though, y'all. Because there's a battle, an unseen battle that we can't see with our physical eyes. And we overcome a lot of things in the spiritual realm because of Lord Jesus. But at the same time, the enemy attacks the flesh. See, that's why Lord Jesus said himself in Mark 14, verse 38, watch ye and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. The spirit truly is ready, but the flesh is weak. So in order to fight spiritual beings that's attacking your flesh, you must pray. That's the only way to not enter into temptation. Because the devil is going to try to tempt you out of your position. See, the word tell us to endure temptation. Endure temptation. And the Lord promised to give the crown of life to them that love him. See, here's the thing, y'all. We must endure the pain and suffering that's going to come from the enemy. Because... I did a word not too long ago that sometimes when our lives is getting hard, the enemy will disguise temptation as a way out. So here's the thing. If you don't endure that temptation, even though it's becoming challenging, even though stuff is becoming hard to bear, if you don't endure that and you allow the enemy to tempt you and cause you to step off this journey that the Heavenly Father has you on, you won't step into the promises of God. You won't become blessed. You won't receive that breakthrough because that breakthrough is literally on this path that's becoming hard. And that's why the enemy is transpiring against your life. Spiritual warfare. He wants to try to make this harder than what it is because your spirit is ready. Your spirit is ready to receive what the Heavenly Father wants to do for your life. But it's the flesh that holds us back at times. So that's why fasting is important. Because when you fast, that draws the Heavenly Father closer to us. And the closer God is to us, the more protection we will have against the fiery darts that the enemy is trying to throw your way. See, when you're in the presence of God, that's putting on the full armor of God. Lord Jesus is literally our armor. He's the rock. He's the temple. He's the foundation. He's the 
beginning and the end, the finisher of our faith. He is the author of our lives. And it's through him that we gain the power, the strength, and the courage to overcome what the enemy is trying to do. Any weapon that's formed against you will not prosper because of Lord Jesus. But that's not saying it won't get hard. It's still going to be days where you feel like giving up because that's spiritual warfare. The devil wants you to feel uncomfortable in your own skin. But through the spirit of Christ, we can win. You know what? Scratch that. We already have the victory. So that's the mindset that we must practice having at all times. We got the victory. We got the victory. We got the victory. We got the victory through Christ. Keep your focus on Christ. Keep your focus on Christ. Keep your focus on Christ. Because the moment you look away, like Peter did when he was walking on water, is the moment you start sinking into your own doubt. God don't draw us away from him. We are drawn away from God behind our own lust. That's in the Bible. And notice, it's behind our own lust. The only thing that's lustful, the only thing that's attached to the world, the only thing that has a desire of its own is the flesh. And to overcome the flesh and live in the spirit, we must pray. That's how you fight in the spiritual realm. And you must fast. That's how you draw God closer to you. And you must believe and have faith. Because that's how you please God and that's how you continue on this path of righteousness. Now here's what's crazy about spiritual warfare, y'all. One of the ultimate goals of the enemy is to make you speak against God. And also to make you speak against yourself. See, that's why the words say there is life and death in the tongue. Because the words we say are very powerful. And to put this in other words, the devil will literally use what you say and flip it against you to turn your life upside down. To make your life chaotic. To cause you to start wars with the words you say. And it can literally destroy you and those around you. See, we give the devil ammunition to use against us with what we say. Instead of living in the victory of Lord Jesus Christ, we cause ourselves to live as a victim of sin. That's the complete truth about it, y'all. See, the enemy primary goal is to try to undo what Christ has done in our lives by keeping our minds focused on ourselves instead of focusing on Lord Jesus Christ himself. This is what spiritual warfare looks like. When we focus on ourselves, when we try to do things with our own power, the enemy can attack us because it's all about attacking the flesh. And we can't see what the enemy is doing to us. But we can feel it. See, when you touch your flesh, you can feel it. You get what I'm saying? You can feel it. When you get those urges out of nowhere, when you know you have overcame certain sins or certain habits that's in your life, you know you have overcome it. But then all of a sudden, it's just this overwhelming feeling, this overwhelming sensation. That's the enemy attacking your flesh. And Lord Jesus said it best. He said, pray, lest ye fall into temptation. The spirit is indeed ready, but the flesh is weak. So we got to pray. We got to fast. We got to stay in the word of God because this is spiritual tools to fight against the enemy. So I pray this video give you more clarity on what you're dealing with. You can't defeat the enemy with physical strength. It must be done in the spiritual realm. Although you overcame the flesh, the enemy is still going to try to attack you in the spirit. And he only uses tangible things because he already know that the spirit is already ready. The spirit through Lord Jesus has already claimed the victory over this battle. But the flesh hasn't. So we got to do away with fleshly desires and you do that by keeping your focus on lord jesus he is going to teach you how to walk in the spirit and not the flesh and i just want to let y'all know 
It's not easy. It's not easy. Don't beat yourself down. I struggle with certain stuff too. But I'm going to keep my focus on Lord Jesus because I'm tired of sinking in that water. I'm tired of succumbing to my own doubt. So I just want to give you words of encouragement to let you know, yeah, it's going to be days when we doubt because the flesh don't want to go through nothing. But if we starve the flesh, we will be more than conquerors and overcome the enemy in the spirit. Simply because Lord Jesus Christ said, be of good cheer for I've overcome the world. That's the power that we have on the inside of us now. Keep your focus on Lord Jesus. What you're going through is spiritual warfare, but we already got a victory through Christ. Believe that. You got to believe that truth and have faith and have true love for the Heavenly Father. I pray this word bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. I love y'all.